this video, we're going to discuss a little bit about when we have oral intercourse. Oral intercourse can be very pleasing to our partner and to each other. But how can it affect a female? It can affect us by getting bumps. Now, I'm not here to talk STD. I'm just talking about the hygiene part of it. Simple things like after waxing and you see your bump come up on you. You're going to think that, okay, it's waxing cause it. It's because I have a hair bump. But is it really? Normally, our significant other, once there is no hair, they love it. But this is something that you have to think about. When you have that intercourse, that insertion, right? Our inside clean itself. But on the outer, outer part, and the livia area, and that man pubis area it does not clean itself unless you clean it so if he himself try to you know <laughs> enjoy himself around the area and the outside what will happen you can get bumped especially if you have cavities and he does not brush his teeth after certain food you get that lavish and romantic treatment and you both fall asleep all of those bacteria stay on your skin and cause you to have bump so most time you come to the spa and you will say how do i get this bump or you go to the doctor then it keep on happening and over and over again it can pass from that again you can definitely get hair bumps which because you have a hair bumps it gets irritated further if the person don't brush their teeth it can be the significant other it can also be from a rub that you use i often tell ladies that always make sure that you have a clean rub or don't use any at all down there depending on what you use you have those disposable sponge disposable things that you can use just to prevent down there from catching germs it is one of the most delicate delicate part of your body and you want to treat it as such it's also delicate but yet pleasing ain't it you i want to just give you self-care tips but i want to give you things that you can try it at home if you notice that after waxing you itch a lot or even after shaving you itch a lot try to keep the air moisturized it may be because your skin is dry so you need to moisturize the hair so the follicles get moisturized and the hair will be more easy to push out and not toil back down into your skin you can also stay away from certain types of andes if you sweat a lot down here and wear cotton andes what cotton andes does it absorb the sweat and keep the hair dry and this will cause you to decrease the discomfort that you might feel down there you do not want to wax or you do not want when hair is growing back you're itching so make sure you try all of these tips to prevent that from happening don't go ahead and use a razor to cut off the hair in the wrong direction I use it in the wrong direction and when the hair is going back it eats you the most because the hair comes back because you had used the razor to give it a slight slight a sharp chop because basically that's what razor does it chop the hair so you have those pointing coming back to stick you back into the skin and because your skin is soft and the hair is of a fiber it will juke you back in the skin and cause you to have irritation so waxing is always the best method because when the hair grow back it grow back more softer and finer and more mild like for your skin type i hope these tips help you and this is ali here stay tuned for our next video let me know in the comment section what you do when the hair eats you and some of the self-care tips that you might try when you feel discomfort especially after hair removal also what hair removal are you using please remember to subscribe if you want more videos like this so we can reach more like-minded people like you